Alright, let's take a look at how we can customize our uninstaller. As you can see here in the uninstall pane, we've got a variety of different options available to us. Um, most of the settings that are available for the original installer, basically. So that's kind of neat. We can affect the screens, the actions, and so forth. If we go into the screens area, you see there's our uninstall screen, and we can go ahead and edit it and uh, customize it and so forth. What's important to remember when you're doing this, though, is that this uninstallation process might be occurring, you know, up to two, three years after installation, and uh, the user might not remember what you were doing. So it's important to not get too elaborate with your themes if you're trying to continue a theme from your installer, or at least to be aware of this process. All right, let's go ahead and, and just create a simple uh, customization for our uninstaller, which will uh, make it more visually uh, dynamic. First, let's go ahead and, and publish uh, the, or actually we don't have to republish, we have our installer sitting here. Let's go ahead and install what we had installed, our last installer, and take a look at what the uninstaller looked like. So if we go to our uh, program settings, headline grabber, uninstall headline grabber, you can see it's just a simple windowed application. It carried our original theme, so that's nice, but at the same time it's, it's not necessarily that dynamic, certainly not as dynamic as our clouds background. And we can go ahead and uninstall just very simple. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we could carry forth our clouds, clouds theme into our uninstaller. So if I go to our uninstall background tab, I'm going to click on the show background window and I'm just going to choose kiosk. I'm going to surf to our clouds JPEG and open that again the same way I did before. And I'm just going to actually go ahead and remove the information in our text areas here just to make it consistent with our installer. And that's really what I'm trying to demonstrate here. We'll press OK, and then let's go ahead and publish this. Now what's really important to note here is that other installation software doesn't allow you this level of customization. Setup Factory 7 is the only installer that I know of uh, that will allow you to really customize your uninstaller this to this extent. So for example, when we run this application and we install it, we've got that nice theme that we set up. But now when we go to uninstall it, we get that same theme back and as you can see it's just beautiful and it, you know again it's just another way of setting yourself apart from everybody else now whether or not there's value for that or not in the sector you're in certainly your end users are going to see value for that so for example um, if I'm installing and uninstalling you know a variety of applications throughout my my work week which I am uh, when I see something like this it really makes me remember you know it makes me look at that logo a little closer and it makes me think wow these guys are really neat you know they went out of their way to create something that was just a little bit special so at any rate that's one simple customization now that's not the only customization we can do of course we can go through here and we can affect the settings for our uninstaller uh, and in addition here through these other tabs we can affect a wide variety of things, for example, the shortcut, how it's logged, um, here from our control panel, uh, what information is displayed and how it's displayed here. Of course, we're leveraging uh, session variables. Um, and again, here, it gives you uh, choices whether you would like to list the uninstall in the add or remove programs, a uh, list of the person's Windows control panel, and so forth. So these are a, a wide variety of options that I encourage you to go through and actually uh, try out. For example, allow silent uninstall might suit your project better um, than not. But, uh, you know, obviously it's beyond the scope of this video lesson to go through each and every option. We just looked at one option here of how we can uh, visually bring our uninstall in line with our installer. But I encourage you to go through and take a look at some of this other finer points here and actually uh, create some uninstallers and, and see which ones work best for your applications.